Manchild News presents News on the March. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles now has six different figure licenses. How are turtle fans supposed to collect them all? Tighten your belts, fanboys. You'll never have pizza money again. He-Man Origins figures have received new and trendy barely their briefs when compared to their original fuzzy bottoms. Better not take them out of the package, because as you can see, it's the only package they've got. Snyderverse actor Ezra Miller is under suspicion of so many crimes, it's amazing he was ever cast as a superhero. But Zack Snyder also cast a serial defecator and Ben Affleck. Top shelf work, Zack. How's that Snyderverse thing going? Director Taiki Watiti's mind is really in a galaxy far away. At the end of the production of Thor Love and Thunder, he asked Natalie Portman if she'd be interested in being in a Star Wars movie. He's in charge of Star Wars projects, but didn't remember an entire trilogy from the saga. Because he's a moron. Breaking my heart. The Obi-Wan Kenobi Disney Plus series, a six hour long continuity wrecking slog starring Ewan McGregor, had four hours cut out of it by an enterprising Star Wars fan in an attempt to save it. The Patterson cut is far more watchable, but at the end of the day, trying to fix this story with further edits is like trying to stop the destruction of Pompeii by ringing the city in cling film. Obi-Wan's premium merchandise was dead on arrival as well. Hasbro's Reva FX lightsaber totally failed to achieve its fun goals. This is the second Star Wars HasLab project to fail after the Rancor, and the funding result was a paltry 3.38% of the goal they'd set. So much for that silent majority of Disney Star Wars fans. Nobody showed up to this party. What? HasLab did capture the wallets of the G.I. Joe community, fully funding a $300 hiss tank within hours of the product's launch. The classified scale vi- Is that- Is that the correct footage for this clip? It is? Um, okay then. The former BBC controller, Michael Grade, gave an interview on the latest Doctor Who Blu-ray collection in which he explained his reasons for cancelling the series in the 1980s. He still comes off like a total knob. What's that going to do with my knob? And finally, Kylie Minogue and Jason Donovan have returned to Ramsey Street after more than 30 years for the production of the final episode of the long-running Australian soap opera, Neighbours. The curtain is coming down, but not before Charlene and Scott make their final bows, especially for you. This has been Manchild News for July 2022.